Do you ever miss being a kid? Because when we were kids, we did whatever we wanted to. We were painting, we were creating, we were doing all of the things that we love to do. We were using our imaginations and we were Batman and we were a fireman or maybe even Wonder Woman. But the thing that was important is that we did what made us happy. And our creativity was what was driving us our internal drive to put whatever creativity we had into the external world. But as we get older, we follow what society tells us to do. We follow these arbitrary rules made up by people that are no smarter than you and I. And what has changed now is we no longer do what makes us happy, we do what we think people will like. So we've gone from what we love and what we want to do to who loves us. We're searching for meaning in the things that we buy, in the cars, in the clothes, in the houses, in the bottles at the club. So now your life has shifted because when you were a kid, you were worried about internal things making you happy and bringing it to the external world. But as you grow up and become an adult, you're trying to make external things make you internally happy. When you were a kid, you didn't worry about pay raises and cars and all of those things. You were focused on one thing and one thing only, you. And the greatest people to have ever lived live the exact same way. The greatest comedians or painters, sculptors, even CEOs, they all worked on themselves. They didn't worry about slaving behind a computer making Excel spreadsheets for eight hours. They were working on themselves and they were working on their crafts. And they put so many hours into it that they have mastered it. And that's why we love those people because to watch them is watching a master at their craft at work. And when you watch these people who have put 10,000 hours into their craft and it looks so easy, that is the closest thing to God that humans will ever be. And isn't that the point in life anyways? To do what you love to do and to wake up each morning, work really hard on yourself and go to bed each night knowing that you are now a better person than when you first woke up. And a lot of people will say, wasn't well, that selfish though? To focus on myself all of the time? I have children, I have a family. Well, if you have children and a family, don't you think that your children will grow up to be more fulfilled adults if they watch their parent do what they love to do versus slave behind a computer for hours? Because they will follow in your footsteps. See, you have to do what makes you come alive. That is the most important thing. And stop focusing on external things, making you internally happy, and realize that you need to be internally happy first and bring that to the external world. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and then right next to that subscribe button, hit that little bell so that you never miss any information from me. And if you want some more of my exclusive content, go to robdial.com and sign up there to get my free premium information in your inbox. But no matter what you do, make sure you make somebody else's day better. I appreciate you all and I hope that you have an amazing day.